Again, welcome, welcome to San Francisco Chinese Alliance Church Communal Mission event. We are doing therapeutic stretch exercise today. And it's being led by Justine, our own physical therapist. Um, just want to introduce her a little bit. Uh, let me see. Sorry, let me let more people in first. Um, there's more people coming in. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, joining our CMT this Sunday. It's a nice hot afternoon. Um, know that if you want to join in with the exercise, make sure you are wearing some comfortable clothing and you may be sweating a little bit. I think probably have water, uh, some water with you too. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna start. I will um, start with a word of prayer. Um, want to welcome all of you um, to SFCAC CMT. Uh, my name is Julie and I am your host today. Uh, know that this is going to be recorded. So if you have friends or family that um, missed this uh, event, they can access it later on this week on our website um, to watch it again. Or maybe uh, you missed some of the instructions so you can watch it again on the website. Um, but uh, let me start with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful that you brought us together this afternoon um, to uh, come together to learn therapeutic stretching exercise that's good for our bodies. And we commit this time to you because you are the one who gave us life and gave us these bodies. And we ask that you would fill our minds and heart with your goodness and your Holy Spirit um, so that we know that this body belongs to you and that we are to take care of it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So thank you everyone. Maybe um, before I start, is there are there any people who are here with our CMT for the very first time? You can raise your hand uh, in your Zoom. Let me show a, a hand if you're first time. Yeah. Welcome, Nancy, first time. And welcome back, everyone who's been um, zooming in on our um, CMT events. Um, I ask that all of you mute yourself. Um, for this event right now so that everyone can hear our teacher, Justine. Um, just to introduce you to Justine for a little bit. Um, so Justine is from the English congregation of SFCAC and her parents are in the Chinese congregation. Um, and Justine's been with the church ever since she was born. Is that correct? <laughs> um, and uh, Justine is a, a trained uh, physical therapist and she works for one of the hospitals in San Francisco and uh, very, um, uh, you know, know a lot about bodies and how to take care of your body. Um, so I will pass the time to Justine so we won't delay in doing the exercise, but, um, Definitely, if you're gonna follow along, make sure you wear comfortable clothing. You might sweat a little bit and make sure you drink some water too. So let me pass the time to Justine. Hi everyone. So today we'll be doing some simple stretching and exercise. Um, I know I, do exercise um, not only to help my body feel good, but because it's a way to take care of the body that God has given me um, because he is my creator. So I hope that, you know, during this time, our bodies would be just re-energized so that we can have the ability to continue to love and to care for the people that God has given us around us. 
Um, so we're gonna start off first by lying down and doing some warm up um, into moving our legs. And then we'll be standing up doing some activities as well. And then during this time, um, just do what you can. If anything is too painful or too strenuous, feel free to take a break for that moment and then try to come back when you can. And just because, you know, I might go down a certain depth, you don't have to go that far. So, and if there's any questions, um, you can save it for the end and I'll leave some time for that at the end. So we'll get started. Um, if you have a space, so go ahead and start lying on your back. So starting here, we're just going to be first focusing on our breathing to help us focus and relax our bodies and our minds into this time. So first, I want you to just relax your legs, cross your hands across your chest so that your fingers are over your collarbone. So first, focus on your breathing and feel your collarbones rise up when you breathe in and have them fall when you breathe out. Do a couple rounds like this. So collarbone rises up when you breathe in and falls down when you breathe out. A lot of times our shoulders and our neck can get really tight, especially being in front of a computer a lot. So go ahead and focus on your breathing for a couple more rounds. So last one, inhale, collarbone comes up. Exhale, collarbone comes down. Next, I want you to put your hands on your middle ribs. So it's just like this. So this time when you breathe, feel the, feel the air come underneath your fingers. So this part of your chest rises up when you inhale. And then feel it fall down as you exhale. Do this several rounds. Inhale, ribs rise up. Exhale, ribs come down. Last one. The last position, keep lying down. This time you're gonna cross your hands over your belly so that your ribs are, so that your fingers are hugging your lower ribs, like so. So this time when you breathe in, feel your ribs all the way down under your fingers, expanding. So the ribs rise up into your fingers when you breathe in. And your ribs come down when you exhale.
We'll do it two more times. Feel your ribs come up and out when you inhale. Down and in when you exhale. Okay, now I want you to bring one knee up towards your chest. And the leg that is straight, put some tension in your leg so it's as if you're pushing your leg away from you. Good, we'll hold it here. And then we'll switch. Keep the straight leg strong. This will help warm up our leg. Good, we'll do one more time each side. So switch back. And back to the second side. Okay, now coming back to the first side, I want you to bend your knee so that your thigh is pointed straight up to the ceiling. From here, hold behind your knee and straighten your knee only as far as it will go. This thigh bone should still be pointed to the ceiling. You should feel a stretch in the back of your thigh. Okay, we're going to hold it here. and keep the bottom leg strong and straight. Now for the leg that's up, go ahead and bend the knee to relax the stretch, and then straighten it back up. We're gonna go back and forth like this 10 times. So bend the knee and straighten only as far as you can go. Good, two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, hold it up for 10 seconds. Okay, now bring that leg down and we'll switch to the other side. So once again, bring your thigh up so it's pointed to the ceiling. Don't need, it to, don't need to bring it any closer. From here, straighten your knee only as far as it will go. And have your toes pointed up towards your nose as well. Good, we'll hold it here. You feel a stretch behind your thigh and also your calf. Good. 
From here, keeping your thigh where it is, bend your knee, and then straighten. We'll do this nine more times. Okay, this is three, four, keep the bottom leg straight and strong, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get to hold it up there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and bring your legs down. So your leg should be a little bit warmed up now. Now we're gonna warm up our spine. So start by bending both knees, feet on the floor. Now separate your feet so that they're wider than your hips. And then let your knees touch in the center. Show you from this view as well. So from here, you're going to let your knees fall to the right and then to the left. So, so your legs should always be touching. Go ahead and rock gently back and forth only as far as your body will let you. You should feel a gentle twist in your lower back. Okay, now, keeping your legs where they are, you're going to hold your elbows. And as your knees go to the right, your elbows will go to the left. And switch. We'll do two more. Okay, and rest. So now go ahead and roll to your side. And if it's comfortable for you, come onto your hands and knees. If it's too difficult for you to be in this position, go ahead and sit and take a break. So in this position, we're going to continue to warm up our spine. When you curl your spine, you're going to exhale. And then you'll arch your spine and inhale. Good, and curl. and arch. Exhale and curl. Inhale, arch. Curl.
and arch. Good, feel all the way from your tailbone to your neck, curl. And arch. And curl. And arch. We'll do one more. Exhale, curl. Inhale, arch. Okay, now come into a straight back position. Just focus on feeling weight through your arms and your knees evenly. Try to come into a position where you're neither arched or curled. From here, notice if your neck is hanging down and your head is hanging down. Try to elongate your neck. So you're creating a long line between your tailbone and the crown of your head. Okay, from here, go ahead and bring your hips back. You're sitting on your ankle. And arm stage, stretch forward. So relax in this position and let your forehead come to the ground. Push a little bit through your hands down into the ground to feel a slight stretch in your shoulder. And we'll hold it here. Try to focus on your breathing like we did in the beginning. Have your breath go down into your lower ribs. Go ahead and take two more deep breaths here. Now walk your left hand so it's over your right hand. You'll feel a slight stretch on the outer left side of your body. Take several deep breaths here. Keep your arms straight and slight push down into the ground. Two more deep breaths. Good. Now we'll walk our arm so your left, sorry, so your right hand is on top of your left. And so you feel a slight stretch on your right side of the body. We'll hold it here as you continue to take deep breaths.
One more deep breath. Okay. Now go ahead and walk your hands so that they're next to your shoulders. And keep your head down as you come back into all fours, hands and knees. We're gonna slowly be standing up by curling our toes under. Keeping your knees bent. Then slowly roll up vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae so your head comes up last. Okay, so now we'll be in standing for the rest of our time. We're just going to warm up through each of our joints. We're going to roll our ankles outward. Okay, now inward. And roll inward. Standing. We're going to make a small circle with your nose. And then switch directions. Now we're going to roll our shoulders backwards. And switch directions, roll your shoulder forward. Now interlace your hands, elbows together about chest height. You're going to circle your wrist. Go ahead and change direction. and relax your arms. So now we're going to focus on our standing and where we're placing our weight. So go ahead and focus on where you feel pressure in your feet. And rock forward so more pressure is in your toes. And rock, rock backward so your toes slightly come up. Rock forward, heels slightly come up, and then rock backward, toes come up. Do that a couple more times. Forward, back. Forward, back. One more. Forward. And back. So now stand so you're neither too far forward 
or too far back so that your toes come up. Here we're gonna do a couple squats. I'm gonna show you from the side and don't worry about going too low. Starting with your arms facing down. Bend your hips and your knees so your body stays upright. So even just going this far is enough. And then turn palms up, back up. Palms down, come down. Palms up. Palms down. And palms up, back up. We'll do it five more times. Down. Palms up. Arms straight, palms down. Palms up. Palms down. Palms up. And down. Feel the weight in the middle of your feet so that your toes aren't coming up or your heels aren't coming up. And up. Two more. Down. Just feel your legs warming up. Palms up. One more. And palms up. Relax and shake it out a little bit. So now we're gonna work on loosening our arms. So first start standing. Put tension through your arms so your fingers are pointing down to the ground. Elbow straight. And rotate your hands so your thumbs point as far back as you can. So usually in standing, our thumbs are pointed forward. Right now we're going to rotate from our shoulder. Our thumbs point back as far as you can. Careful not to arch your back. Only go as far as your body will let you. So keeping your arms here. We're going to hold this position with our arms as you bring your chin down toward your chest. And then have your chin follow your collarbone all the way to the right. And then draw your chin back down towards the center of your chest. And let it follow your left collarbone. Your arms straight and rotated as you bring your chin back down to center. And following your right collarbone all the way to the right. And then bring your chin back down to center. And to the left. Down to center. And to the right. Keep your arms straight and rotated back. And back down to center. And to the left. You might feel a slight pulling sensation in your fingers and your arms. That's okay, that's just the nerve stretching slightly. Spin down to center. And to the right. And down to center. 
flex and relax your arms. Next, straighten your arms out to the side. Fingers pointed to the ceiling. You're gonna rotate your arms back and forward. Rotate your arms back and forward. We'll also give your nerves and shoulder a good stretch. Fingers point upwards. Rotate your arms forward and back as far as your body will let you go. Repeat a couple more times. And last time. Good, and arms back down. This last motion we're gonna do with our arms, go ahead and watch me first. Bring your arms to the center of your body. Your wrists and elbows touching for as long as you can as you bring it up. Up until as far as you can go, then let your elbows separate. Hands pointed forward as you bring them down to your side again. And again, up through the center, elbows touch for as long as you can. You bring your arms up and then out and down. You feel your shoulder blades working through the center. Elbows touching, all the way up, separate, and pull down. Two more, arm through the center, elbows touching for as long as they can. Separate at the top, and pull down. One more. Separate. And down. Okay. So now we're going to Bring our arms up as you breathe in. And when your fingers cross your eyes or past your eyes, exhale. Focus on expanding your chest like we did in the beginning. And exhale. Exhale. Two more. One more. Okay, now separate your feet, toes pointed out. Actually, sorry, toes pointed forward. Go ahead and bow down. Let your arms follow your legs. Go down as far as your body will let you. 
Make sure your legs are still strong so you're not just hanging on your ligament. And let your head relax. In this position, grab your elbows and let your shoulders drop towards the ground. Keep your legs strong. Weigh your elbows gently side to side so your upper body sways. Feel your neck and your back relax. Bringing your hands back to the ground if you need. Shake your head as if you're saying no. Feel your neck lengthen as you do this. Then bend both knees slightly as you curl back up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, so your head comes up last. Arms back up. And down. We're going to go down one more time. In this position, interlace your hands behind your back and straighten them. Bring your arm down as far as you can as your shoulders relax towards the ground. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. Good. Relax your arms back to the ground. Bend your knees slightly. And again, roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, so your head comes up last. And then to cool down, we'll go through the movements of the joints one more time. So roll your ankle outward. And inward. And switch legs. And inward. Make small circle with your nose. And the other direction. Now shoulders roll backwards. And forward.
Interlace your fingers, elbows touching. Roll your uh, wrist. Other direction. Good. And stand with your arms by your side. Go ahead and wrap your arms again in your lower wrist. We're going to take a couple deep breaths, making sure you feel your lower ribs expand again. So inhale, feel your lower ribs lift up and out. Exhale, your ribs lower. Again, inhale, let your ribs come up and out. And exhale, your ribs lower. One more time. Good job. Check it out. Thank you for joining us. I wanted to leave a little time at any. So does anyone have any questions? Um, you can type it and then I can read it or you can just unmute yourself and ask Justine. Y'all feel loose now? <laughs> So Justine, I have a question for you. Why is stretching important? Um, well, one, as we get older, which all of us do, um, our, our muscles can get stiffer over time. Um, and especially now when we're in front of the computer or screens a lot, our muscles and joints don't get the full opportunity to move the full movements that we have. So it's important to take time um, kind of intermittently throughout the day or through the week to make sure that we can get the full movement that we can. Um, and hopefully that'll give you, you know, the ability to just be up and active so that we can continue to interact with each other and to um, share God's love with each other too. How often should we do these kind of stretches? I would say, well, it depends what other activities you do during the day or during the week. If you can incorporate just a little bit of this warming up and stretching before you do, say like your ballet class or even like baseball, um, or even if you don't do any other exercise, even or doing it like before you go for a walk can be really helpful too. Before a walk? Mm -hmm. um. You don't have to do like everything, but maybe take a couple things that you felt were helpful for your body. Justine, um, I do have a question to ask you. Um, you know, my, I don't know, is my stomach or is the abdomen, is the abdomen call? When I, sometimes when I bend down to pick up stuff, if it's like I need to bend really hard and you cram. Well, do you know what, what happened? Why would that happen? Hmm. That, yeah. That happened to me after I gave birth to Sophia. <laughs> Before oh. that, I have no problem. Yeah. But after that, I, I got that cram when I, even though sometimes when I do sit up. Mm -hmm. I'm and I, to <laughs> I went to check it. I went to, you know, Kaiser. They, they give me out, uh, some kind of, I think it's ultrasound or something. They couldn't mm -hmm. find anything. Mm. But, you know, that, that happened to me um, quite often. If I really bend or, I don't know, is this, is that um, contract, you know, my stomach or something, you know, that cram will suddenly happen. Just like spasm, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to completely say without seeing you do it and feeling and observing. But from what you're telling me, possibly um, if you're, maybe your body is overusing your abdominal muscles and not using your other muscles correctly and in coordination. Because when we bend down, not only should we be using our abdominal muscles 
but our legs and our glute muscles and our pelvic floor muscles, all of them have to work together so that not one muscle group is working more than the other. So that might be part of it. This might be your abdominal muscles have to work really hard, then they over cramp um, to compensate for the other muscles that aren't necessarily working. So um, I would say if you still feel like you want someone to look closer at it, maybe you can ask your doctor for referral for um, outpatient physical therapy. Okay, um, thank you. So before we have the next question, there is a poll that we would like everyone to take. Um, mainly it's for, um, you know, it's for our CMT to be able to um, bring to you more different classes or interests that you have. Um, so um, I'm going to ask Simo to launch the poll. So if you have more questions, go ahead and ask the questions um, for Justine and also um, please fill in the poll at the same time. Any other questions? You can unmute yourself and ask. Um, I know my um, life group yesterday um, because we have members who has frozen shoulders and it seems like um, more than one person's had it before. Do you know why that actually happens all of a sudden? Yeah, sometimes Sometimes a traumatic event can trigger it, but a lot of doctors don't know, and it's just mm -hmm. like a response the body can sometimes have out of the blue. Yeah. So it's, there's no explanation. I can be hit with it all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. So it just takes a lot of, you know, stretching and to get back the movement. Get back the range of movement. So a lot of stretching exercise. Mm -hmm. Justine, I have another question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, when, when you uh, uh, told us to do the inhale and exhale, right? Mm -hmm. And you say we, we move our arm or whatever. But mm -hmm. the thing is like, um, seems like when I do the in, inhale, mm -hmm. it's like I cannot do as slow as you, you know, I, wait, once when you're, for example, the one, you know, my your arm is just on the top, your head, not uh, on your eye yet. I already, uh, oh. <laughs> already, already Same. to my extent, you know, I cannot yeah. um, uh, I inhale anymore. Do I hold it until my arm, until up to my eye to uh, exhale or I just move faster? You can move a little faster, yeah. Just coordinate what you can. So inhale and then exhale once you get to here. So do your arm movement to coordinate with as long as you can inhale. And over time, you'll see that, you know, your ribs and your lung can slowly control the breath to get a deeper breath over more time. But for now, just, you know, do the timing that you can. So just don't hold. Yeah, you don't <laughs> okay. have to hold. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not even sure this is an answer for Julie's question because in Chinese saying um, the shoulder, the frozen shoulder, they call it the um, sapin. When you turn 50, a lot of people have that problem. So I don't know how, what's the average age for your group. <laughs> so <It's> I, <laughs> if, if they're close to that age, that's what they were saying. A lot of people, as they get closer to 50, mm -hmm. um, that happens. So those I, tell people you have frozen shoulder, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had that problem right around the same time, but it turns out it's not a frozen sh shoulder. It was um, my my work, my, the computer stuff, where um, I have bulging disc. So, but people told me that's a frozen shoulder because I was around that age, and I had a doctor and I had an MRI, and then it showed that a lot of people, but they pulled me. I, I felt like I was two, inch, in, two inches taller every time I finished because they actually pulled my neck, stretch. Oh. Yeah, anyway. So my sort of answer, not really an answer. How about um, tennis elbow, Justine? Do you have any um, recommendation for stretching that will help release the pain? 
for stretching, you can bring your arms forward and then bring your wrists down. That'll stretch this tendon here, which is often overused for tennis players. So just down like that. Yeah. And then you can mm -hmm. bring your arms down and back like that. You'll feel more of a stretch through here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, people also recommend cross friction massage, which is mm -hmm. put two fingers over that tendon and you just go back and forth over that tendon. And that's what's supposed to help remodel the, the tendon that's irritated. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have another question. I always have um, like a really stiff neck. And then, because the nerve, I guess, is connected to the uh, head, right? So, and I have headaches. Mm -hmm. So how do you like, you know, stretch your neck or do some massage on your neck that can release the uh, tension? I would say part of it would be when, you know, we did this one, feet apart and then go down, um, having like your head relaxed down, mm -hmm. that's really helpful because gravity is just helping you to relax your neck. Um, and then the other one that was helpful that we did was, you know, arms by your side and then chin down to your uh, chest and then follow your collarbone. You'll feel the stretch in yeah. the back of your neck there. It does. Um, yeah. So those would be the two kind of active ones that we did that can be useful for your neck. And then I would just say also try to find out maybe or try to observe your posture when you're in different activities, whether it's in front of the computer or when you're sleeping, potentially, you know, if you need a new mm -hmm. pillow or a new computer setup. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. People said that you shouldn't actually have a high pillow. Um, yeah. <laughs> right? Is it yeah, it's, can you <laughs> confirm that? You need to find the pillow that's right for you. Meaning, uh -huh. if you're sleeping on your side, it should fill this space. So if the pillow is soft, then your head will go like this. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's too hard, then your neck will go like this. Mm -hmm. If you're lying on the side. Um, but if you're on your back, then you don't. You probably want a very small pillow just to cover this space. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I'm still so, not going to find my perfect pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. So it should be flat, right? Like when, when you lie on the pillow, you should have a level, um, um, right? You should have your head and your back leveled, aligned kind of, right? Yeah. You don't want like your head forward. Or, or that, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that would lead to another question because, yeah. you know, we, we will sleep sometimes side, sometimes back. So that yeah. means our pillow has two levels, little to be one is like higher. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they do okay. make pillows like that. Um, it kind of looks like a, a butterfly kind of like it. Uh -huh. It's in the center, it's higher on the top. Uh -huh. so laying in the center, you know, your neck isn't propped upright, but when you're on your side, it has enough space. Oh, oh, okay. Not, not, uh, not the front and back. It's the side to side. Oh, because we see the front and back, you know, like a donut thing. Yeah. You know yeah. that that one. I I I have one actually, but when I turn on my side, it because you know it. <laughs> yeah, it's not side. You know the the up and down is not from side to side. It's from, uh, you know bottom and to the top, you know, horizontally mm -hmm. instead of like vertically. I don't know how, how to explain it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you means need to want to have the one is from side up and then middle is lower and then the other side go up as a vertically. Yeah, horizontally, but also on the other direction too. Okay. You your neck. Some of us yeah. have more curves here than others. Yeah. So the curve here and then come down and then a little bit up. Yeah, that one I have, that kind I have, but not yeah. the other one. You mentioned, you know, when you turn it aside. Sometimes okay. they have a hybrid of both. Hybrid? Yeah, so like combination of those two. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I need to look for that. <laughs> okay, thank so you. The, I'm still the, trying to find mine too. <laughs> so the curvy ones are okay, like, kind of like that's okay. Oh, I can't, are you showing me? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm as, uh, I have to go get, I'll, I'll show you, but it's like, like that, you know how, it's like this. Mm -hmm. it, it can, it can help. 
Okay, so uh, my, my question is, you know, we're working from home, right? So I already tried to get my standing desk. Mm -hmm. I stand and I sit. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I still have a lot of back problems. Mm -hmm. And sitting, I, my feet are numb. So I figure <laughs> it's my chair. So I already invest so many things already. So yeah. I'm thinking maybe I need a new chair. But before I get that, is there anything I should do? Because it's not only the back and then it's the feet getting numb. I'm not sure what to do between times. Yeah. yeah, if your feet are getting numb, that probably means you're sitting for too long and cutting off the circulation to your feet. Oh my goodness. So whenever you're sitting, your feet should be supported. If they can't touch the ground, then you should have a foot rest of some sort. I have a little stool already. <laughs> oh, okay. I try all the different things, but it is a long long hour, Deep, um, long hours. Yeah, we're not meant to sit for a long time or stand for a long time. So, you know, if you could do just, a, you know, like one or two of these exercises, you know, during a break, um, that might be helpful. Justin, I'm working on, on this side of the elbow. Uh huh. Tennis elbow is on this side, but then it's this, this is golfer's elbow. Yes, yes. So what can we do for that? So other than the uh, the friction massage, the best way to probably stretch it would be this way. So um, rotating to your stem comes out and then bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Do you feel a little bit? It, it's hard to get that spot to stretch. Uh -huh. Yeah, make sure you ro rotate it. Like this way? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Question about the appropriate height of your computer. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because we're all sitting at our desk and working on a computer quite a a lot. So um, I know there's some where the view is supposed to be at a certain angle, or should it be higher, or where should the screen be? Usually, um, you want your eye level, right? Yeah, the top of your screen to be eye level, so your gaze is slightly downward, so your eyes are slightly relaxed, because if it's mm. up higher, then your eyes are constantly strained. Mm. Um, and then I know a lot of us work on laptops, but if you're you know working on a computer for a long time, you ideally want your screen and your um, keyboard separate because that gives you more space and your arm should be resting so that this elbow bend here isn't more than 90 mm -hmm. it like slightly lower mm -hmm. and then yeah, keyboard around there so yeah each person is different so that's why it's best optimally to, to have a setup to where your screen is separate from your keyboard and then of the height of your chair and your table allows you so that you know, your feet um, aren't dangling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we'll take a, maybe one more question from anyone in, in the room. Um, and if Hi, you Christine. get a chance, um, do the poll. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Hi, Justin. Hi. So, I learned a lot of good stretching exercise from you. Thank yeah. you very much. But um, my issue is I have a back injury, lower back. And um, right now it's become like chronic. Mm -hmm. It's always hurting. Mm -hmm. So um, right now also add on some hip pain. Mm -hmm. Maybe all those muscle kind of like <laughs> not happy so um beside the stretching uh beside um uh warm up like doing some breathing all those good uh thing before the stretching mm -hmm. anything that you can recommend so i know those deep breathing lie down relax and standing up do some like a little bit like movement, make your body kind of in a more good shape to stretch. I kind of want to know any other thing I should 
do because every morning mm -hmm. I do some deep breathing exercise and try to relax and then stretch. Mm -hmm. So any good uh, like the steps that I should like listen to the body, of course, if I in a lot of pain, I try to not doing, but sometimes I kind of concern if you're not doing stretching, you get more tight. Mm -hmm. So Great. that, yeah. Um, I would say the stretching for your legs is really important. Um, yeah, the hamstring, right? The hamstring is really important. And so then do you recommend to use uh, um, yoga, uh, those, those stretch, or just use the hand to hold it? What, what you, yeah. There is time, just as long as you're actively, you know, using muscles to hold your leg up. And that's the main thing, you know, for all the movements that we did today, they're not just like pulling and stretching, like yes. you're not hanging out there, but you're actively using your muscle while you're putting it in a lengthened position. So I would say it's fine either way, whether or not you use a strap or your arm, just making sure that, you know, your leg is having some muscle tension through it while you're stretching it. Um, but like what you're saying, you're doing a lot of what we would recommend already is, you know, use your pain as a guide to know what activities your body is um, allowing you to do. And then, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I would say stretching your legs. And then if you can get some type of cardiovascular exercise in, whether, you know, you can tolerate being on a bike if you have one or walking or Maybe in the future, um, swimming can be a good one for people with back pain because there's not much pressure. But I know, you know, right now we don't have access. Yeah. Um, but that's something to think about. In the yeah, the YMCA close. I, I, I use YMCA, um, you know, but now they close. Mm -hmm. No way for me to go to the pool. Um, so the only thing that helped me is in the water. I feel mm -hmm. so comfortable. Mm -hmm. So, um, and um, besides the, you know, the little step that I need to watch for, you know, not doing, no, not overstretch, because sometimes it's kind of, you know, scared of, you know, injury, you know, the back again. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, I want you to know a little bit more um, um, about the, any, any step that I should follow, like doing warm up, breathing, and try to relax the body, and then stretch. Yeah, I would say these are all the things I, yeah, you, you're basically mentioning all the things I would do. In addition, I think probably also the squats would be helpful for you too, to strengthen your legs so that your back muscles aren't overworking. Oh, I, I am sorry. What's the, the you, you say the squat? Like, so the, yeah, one that the one that you do it like, is that good to, you know, use a wall? I would say only if you need to. Try not to okay. and just go as far as you can. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got it. Mm -hmm. So if the like holding like one, two, three, four, but I, I am able to do 10 times. So okay. I can <laughs> bring it down to five is good enough, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you very, very much, Justine. There's a question about muscle pain. Should uh, a person apply cold or warm compress? If it's muscle pain, I would recommend warm. And the main way to differentiate muscle pain is usually if you can touch it and like push on it, it hurts or it hurts with movement. Um, that's usually indicative of muscle pain. Okay, are there any other questions? Okay, I think we are coming to a close. Thank you very much, Justine, for the uh, stretch exercise. It wasn't too hard. Mm -hmm. um, I think all of us were able to survive. <laughs> um, but definitely, it's uh, good to stretch our bodies every day. Um, more than once a day even, um, since we right now so many of us are sitting in front of computers um, for this Zoom, <laughs> um, for 
work and, and whatnot. Um, but um, definitely God gave us this body and it's his temple. He lives in us and we need to um, be diligent in taking care of it. Um, so next week, we have another um, Zoom session that will be good for the body. And it's a prebiotic and probiotic. Um, it will be taught by Joseph. Um, he's a pharmacist. Uh, you're welcome to join next week. It's the same Zoom link and um, same time, 2.30 next Sunday. Uh, and again, it's taking care of our bodies. And now this uh, next week is about our gut, um, not just our muscles and um, tendons, but the gut, the inside to uh, make sure our bodies are regular <laughs> um, because we are sitting around a lot and um, not as active as we used to be. But um, we're gonna come to a close. I'm gonna ask Bo uh, Simo to close us in prayer. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for such a wonderful exercise uh, workshop that we have learned a lot from um, Justine. And uh, just like Julie uh, shared that um, our body is the temple of God and we need to take care of it so that we don't just enjoy life that you have um, created for us, but we can also bless other people uh, through the services that we uh, serve using our body. May you bless our participants that they have a good evening, that they can enjoy the good weather outside and enjoy the creations that you have um, given us. Uh, may you bless our time uh, being with the family and bless our speaker and everybody. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Justine. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you next time. Bye, Bye. the mom and dad. Bye. Bye. And Bye. 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 Long hair. <laughs> wow, you have been here so long. My goodness. Bye. 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 Oh, I'm